Hello there everybody, this is Che here from Che Vacation and we're trying something a little bit different today, I think I've been wanting to do this for a little while and as I've expressed in my recent videos I wanted to do this with a friend of mine, so I'm going to introduce you to him now, in fact he's going to introduce himself into you now, so over to you. Hello, I'm Tom, uh, I'm one of uh, Che's sad friends unfortunately, um, <laughs> play uh, a lot of WoW unfortunately as well, um, please feel free to you know take the piss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not particularly bothered. Uh, shit doesn't really bother me, so you know. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm rather worried actually because if these ever do get successful, they're going to have to meet up with each other, and you know that's going to be it really could get a bit awkward. Dis disturbing, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, so it could get slightly strange, but um, we'll meet for some coffee, as they say. People well, don't actually drink fair, coffee. At least we're not exactly you know too far away from each other, so it's not. No, really that's a, it. It's massive trek, but it's rather still. convenient, really. Well, convenient and worrying, but, you know. <laughs> it's meant to be. Mm. It was, it was yeah. meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, considering we, we're kind of doing this, we're going to be chucking this on YouTube, and we're going to be chucking it all over the shop. So, it's kind of like a uh, a podcast, but it's also kind of like, like a, it's almost like, kind of like a talking blog and all this and stuff like yeah, that. Just, just, just chatting, you know, yeah, like we normally much. do. Yeah, pretty much, like we normally do. We, we, we often talk about a load of crap, and it often goes off onto one of the, a typical English rant, and we, we decided that we should really be recording these, because... <laughs> Some of they they can get kind of amusing to us anyway. Regardless, not, I don't know if it'd be amusing to anyone that's listening to it, but so well, we thought we would. The, the only slight problem is though that we we tend to rant on a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this video could actually turn out to be quite long. Yeah, that's true. So, so if you are yeah. going to be watching this, I recommend you watch in the background of something because <laughs> it could be quite long. Turn your music off and just listen to us blabber for however long this video is actually going to end up. So we're going to kind of split the videos up. We want to have like, what we're going to have? We're going to have like sort of like a newsy sort of thing. We're not going to sit in front of you and dictate to you in the news, but it's just going to be stuff that's happened. Uh, then we're going to have the major news, and then we're going to kind of have stuff that's coming up. So it's kind of like a past, present, and future sort of thing we're having going on here. So I don't know whether we should just jump straight into what we're going to be yakking on about. But I might jump into the deep end. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we've obviously got the news. So. Latest stuff. What's been happening recently? Well, m minor news. We've got new releases like Portal 2 and oh, Mortal Kombat. Like and, yeah, quite, quite, quite a bit to... Well, minor news, of course, we've got the major news, but we'll get to that in a bit. Christ, <laughs> that's going to go on for a while, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I, uh, you know, Portal 2, I, I played the first and I, just, I, could not, I could not be asked to pay however much money it was, but <laughs> essentially the same game, really. I've heard it's very, very good. But yeah, well, I, I, I personally speaking, I've never played the first one. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that I missed out on the free giveaway like years ago. But um, <laughs> but this one, you know, it, it looks pretty interesting. The single player is meant to be something like four times longer than the original, and and there's a separate co-op campaign. From um, what I've seen, it, it it looks fun. You know, it does look like a fun game. But yeah, like I said, I'm not into but I'm not into paying that. I don't know why. I just haven't. You know, there's too much coming out recently for me to worry about, and too much for yeah, me to be doing. I mean, May, of course, May coming up now. I mean, Jesus, there's just too much stuff coming out to you know wrap your head around. And I mean, I I bought I, I had to buy more Mortal Kombat because you know I mean I'm a huge MK fan and. I, I mean, I've been craving for a decent Mortal Kombat. I mean, I, I, I probably am one of the few people that actually like Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I mean, See, I've never played that. Yeah, hey, I'm well. <laughs> team rating. That's all I can say. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just sums it up. Unfortunately, it just. Uh, I, I think. I mean. I mean. A lot of people do think, though, that you know. DC Universe, you know, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe was a bit of a test platform for the, the new yeah, one, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's understandable. So they're using, yeah. they're using this, the, pretty much the same engine. Of course, they've upgraded it now over the years, but I mean, they just think it, people just think it was just a test thing, you know. And I mean, and look at Mortal Kombat now, you know. I mean, I've, I can't believe it. I've heard dire, you know, fans of like Street Fighter and um, Marvel versus Capcom say they would rather, if they could only choose one game, they would rather have Mortal Kombat. Just that's shows how yeah, popular yeah. combat's been. That's you know. a good sign. Well and, done to who brought uh, it out. I have no idea who actually published the game. Uh, Nether Realm Studios. Oh, isn't that the people that did it anyway? Yeah, they're still doing. It. Jesus, well done to them. They're still doing it. Living now. off one game. 
<laughs> years on now or something. <laughs> it's certainly gone very far, isn't it? It's gone, I think it's gone a lot further than people thought it was going to, to be honest. But yeah, but it's Mortal Kombat. To be fair, I mean, yeah, I suppose it's the ninth iteration. It is what? like the fighter of all fighters, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah, because of the fatalities. I mean, yeah. let's get around the bush. It's because of the fatalities. I mean, Fatality. You, you just, you got to love, you know, like, I mean, some of the new ones now are just insane. But I'm quite surprised. Not as much variety as I thought there'd be because it's just a lot of head chopping, limb chopping, cutting in half, you know. But then again, what can you do? I mean, it's, what else can you do? <laughs> yeah, that's true, but, yeah. For the heads off and... <laughs> But so, I, I mean, it's it's still. A, I mean, it's the story surprisingly really good, uh, based on Mortal Kombat one, two, and three. The story, so you know, quite a lengthy story. Yeah, seven three chap- games, yeah. I think it was seventeen chapters. You play well, pretty much. Well, you play a character for about two chapters. Well, no, for about you do about four or five fights in a chapter as a so character. It's constantly moving around then, at least you're not yeah, stuck with the same each, stuff. In really. each, character, you, each chapter you're a different character, so you know, you'll yeah. play as Johnny Cage and, oh, you know, uh, Sub-Zero, <laughs> Smoke and, Such sorry, Cyber Sub-Zero, I should say. And, uh, you know, you play Raiden at the end, you know, so you, you, you've, you've got quite a lot of variety in the, in the single mm. player. And, it's, and of course, it's, it, it's Mortal Kombat through and through. I mean, you know, it's over the top, it's corny, it's, Ridiculous. Uh, Johnny <laughs> is just an asshole as usual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no surprise there. As he is in the new uh, Mortal Kombat Legacy videos, which, in my opinion, very good. But I'm not around to watching that, actually. I really want to see who they got to play Johnny Cage. I want to see the massive cock that he's <laughs> mad- I've no idea who he is, but... And um, the dog has just come in. Can you go away for us, please, dog? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, I've no idea who he is, but... um, no, I've no idea who he is, but... <laughs> Sorry, there you go. Mum just coming. I knew she would. <laughs> knew she would. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know who he is, but he looks like a bit of an ass. But then again, every Johnny Cage is. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I just love one of the, the one of the quotes that he does at the start. You know, because he's he's just beaten. Um, I think it was Reptile, and uh, in the first one, he's like. You know, he just walked over to all of them and he's like, I'm, I'm going to beat you and beat you and take you out and take you out and it gets to the end and it's Sonya's, I'm going to take you out for dinner. <laughs> oh, you know, God. it's like, what? <laughs> Seriously, I'm just going to deck you on, you prick. How you, corny. Oh. But I mean, it, it, it's it's just, it's it's what Mortal Kombat fans have been craving for. It's just back to what it was, 2D, <laughs> you know, and just really, I mean, it's, it's surprisingly easy to get into because I'm not particularly the biggest fighter fan and you know I've always liked Mortal Kombat and I, I have played with a few other fighters in the past but I'm not one of these diehard fighting fans you know no yeah and it's, it's relatively easy to get into and, and I mean there's a lot of quite complicated moves as well to do and of course you know the fatalities and x-rays are brutal as ever um, the x-rays <laughs> are just brilliant oh, you've got to love them you know they make you cringe they're that good um, but so, yeah. yeah we've had so Mortal Kombat Portal 2 uh, to an extent maybe Crisis 2 but I'm not going to go off and waffle on about Crisis 2 because we could have been forever for that <laughs> so <laughs> obviously we've also had uh, what else have we had recently we've had the 3DS has come out um, oh. I kind of wanted to buy one but I bought a, a, a DS XL when I was up in LA and I, that was about a year ago so I didn't see any point in me going out to buy another one um, I didn't really bother with that obviously what's coming out the Wii 2 well, they've been announced. Any thoughts on the Wii 2? Okay, moving on. And, yeah. of course, the the biggest part of this news is uh, Jurassic Park has been delayed. Yes. Jurassic I'm actually going to go and cry. I've really wanted that game. I, d- I didn't even know Jurassic Park was making a game. And we've been yeah. told it's been... Why was that even front page news? That's ridiculous. Well, Freaking it's only been Park. delayed on the PC and Mac. Oh, oh damn. It. <laughs> damn yeah. it. Oh. Off to the major news. Obviously, what the major news is going to bloody be. It's been major news for the past week. It is, of course, the PSN. Yeah. What the heck what a, what has happened to that been the past few, thing? few days? Well, a few weeks, even. I mean, it went down last Tuesday. I what are we on? It's day nine? Day yeah, nine we're on, yeah. Although, today, we have had some good news off of it. Oh, finally. We have had some minorly good news. It has been confirmed... That the, uh, the the credit card data has not been compromised. It says here, and I'm reading it as it is. 
Uh, let, me, let me get rid of that little pointless bit there. Sony has some good news about PSN. Your credit card data was encrypted and appears safe. And some services of the online network will be restored by Tuesday. And that was well, put on today, which is yeah, April the 28th. So, yeah, so expect something. So hopefully it'll be back on within, uh, you know, within the week. Yeah, they they did say I did read a post saying that it would be the weekend at the latest that it'd be all back up and running. Well, most of the services would be back up and running. But we know that's not I, mean, I do I do have to feel sorry for the the portal fans and whatnot, you know, because yeah, they haven't been able yeah. to play co-op and uh, yeah, I'd imagine you've probably caned the single player a couple of times now, and you probably want to get your teeth sunk into the uh, co-op. It seems a bit. Conveniently placed, you know, conveniently yeah, same timed. Same as well. Yeah, you know, conveniently timed. Two big titles coming out, both of which are going to be big online. And oh look, freaking anonymous come along and cock yeah, everything up. What a bunch of arseholes. We hate yeah, you. Anonymous. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the sources on this and how true it is, but if it is true uh, about anonymous doing this, then I mean, yeah, that's true. What a way to piss off the 45 million people that have, you know, PS3s. And, and I mean, also the excuse for doing it is just diabolical. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. I mean, this morning, the only reason I say it was anonymous is because this morning, well, obviously they denied it at first, but this morning I did stumble across a video on one of the, on, uh, on, um, Respawn Army. Which is apparently an official anonymous one. I don't know if it is because I've never actually watched any anonymous videos. I haven't got the foggiest who they actually are until until they did this. But it was saying how they did it and the reason behind it, which is a physically the most pathetic thing I think I've ever heard in my life. I sat there and I nearly slapped myself. The reason in which they cocked up the whole network is because they want Linux back. I mean, <laughs> of all the pathetic things, I mean... It, it, it's as you said, you know, before we started this. It's, it's like you know, a child asking for a lollipop, just sitting it there is. crying. It's you know, just, just like give me what I want, give me what I want, and it's like we don't care what you want. I mean, <laughs> it's as simple as that. I mean, there's the, what about a hundred out of the between what forty five and fifty there's million no, people that have PS3s that want to use. I this. don't even think a point of a percent of the people who have a PS3 actually want Linux and actually care that Linux is no longer there. I know people who who put Linux on it when, you know, the PS3 was about, when it first came about and Linux could go on it, and they were like, yeah, it's good, but I could just use a PC, there's no point, you know, it just seems like you're sticking on this thing to do what a PC does. And I understand that Linux is all about this customization and your crap and whatever, whatever. But it just seems like completely cocking up a whole online network to the point of which it has to be rebuilt from scratch just because you want Linux is officially the most selfish and pathetic thing I think I've ever heard of. But it's, just, it's shooting themselves in the foot because they really want this back and yet they've destroyed the system so they have to exactly. rebuild it from scratch anyway. So exactly. It's like, any sort of glimmer that you wanted this back has completely gone out the window now because you've destroyed the system. It's I mean, just, it's ridiculous. The logic behind it is flawed. To put it to put it nicely, it's flawed. <laughs> it's uh, again, so it, Sony would do you know the fans great justice if they managed to track down these bastards and you know put out their uh, you know addresses you know for where they live you know because <laughs> Jesus Christ, the mobs that would be outside their houses. Yeah. I mean, I can guarantee you there will be an army outside their house. I don't even I, think their house I, I would exist. I can guarantee if you you look at Google Maps and you could see their house <laughs> and you look at Google Maps again, it will vanish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I could agree. Why piss off a you know forty five million people just to get a stupid program that back that no one cares about? It's just it, it amazed me when I saw that. If anything, I thought it was going to be something. I, to be honest, I didn't know what it what I thought it was going to be. I don't know if they were just doing it to do it but now that they've said it because they want their Linux back it just seems like You're pathetic it yeah. is it's just I, I, I'm speechless I'm that annoyed I don't know what to say it's just it's like what the hell there's I no reason I just want to state for the, everyone who well the few you know the 10 or 20 people that will probably be watching this that um, <laughs> we don't we're still not 100% sure if it's you know properly you know them or not I mean yeah, you know, yeah. again if it is then you know 
uh, I say, you know, hang, hang them from the nearest tree and shoot the bastards, but, um. Well, that goes for anyone who actually did do it, but if it is. Yeah. But if it is, <laughs> it them, is the group, then, then, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. And if that was really the excuse that they could come up with, then, you know, they, they it's deserve it. It's it? going to, you know, come to them in the future. I yeah. Mean, it's not justified at all. It's just, it's the worst reason to do anything that big. You know, they you know they could have done something so much more simple than actually yeah. completely shut down the whole network for nearly two weeks. Now it's probably going to be about two weeks. To be oh, honest, yeah. you know, something which they thought was going to be an overnight doohickey of just a minor minor problem turns out to be something this big, and it's just completely cocked up. And they didn't particularly need this right about now, you know. As much as I'd heard that Sony's the yeah, PS3 had overtaken uh, global sales and all that, but right now it's just like, you know, they I really mean, I mean, don't need this The timing crap. is just impeccable. I mean, the fact that they just come off this... Uh, 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 this lawsuit that they had with Al G about them, yeah. you know, with this violation of Blu-ray or something, which yeah. you know halted all copies, all, all PS3s from being shipped around Europe for about two weeks. That doesn't help, and the whole GeoHots thing, you know, with the, yeah. the jailbreak. Yeah. That, yeah. you know, that's not exactly, you know, I mean, coming off both that and then this happening as well. I mean. I have to say, Sony's stock must have taken an absolute nosedive. Yeah, it must have. It's definitely a massive blow. You know, so I know. I mean, luckily Sony's got a lot to, you know, to yeah. fall back on. I'd say the same thing. Yeah. But, at least it's I mean, not their I, only problem. I, I keep my fingers crossed this won't affect them too much because I do, I do. I mean, Sony uh, hold a special place in my heart. You know, I mean, I'm not exactly a fanboy, but you know, I mean, I, I just, I, I just love the the console. You know. Yeah, I mean, I've always been to me. You know, it's. And I, I know, I'd imagine you Xbox fanboys are sitting there with your flame shields up, but I have to say, I'm going to blow it out in a minute. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, he will. Uh, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> I've, I've been, it's been in my ear for the past week. <laughs> don't get too comfortable. But, uh, <laughs> just finish off this uh, PlayStation thing. You know, I mean, I mean, I, uh, hopefully, you know, this won't happen again with them strengthening their their system now. Well, like you say, it will come back up, and hopefully. You know, things will go back to normal, and you know, it, I mean, it will be a little black mark on their, their their history, but hopefully, it won't affect them too much. I think, if anything, good is probably going to come out of it because, like, so they've had to completely rebuild their stuff. So, yeah, I have I have heard some uh, rumors about their new UI and whatnot that they're they're doing for the uh, for the for PSN. Yeah, I think it's just going to be. Yeah, it's, it's a pain it's, now, but I think it could be it could be something good. You know, it could, it, I mean, some it, good is probably going to come out of it. Drastically improve the PSN. You know, you never know. I mean, it, it could be it actually it could be a good thing that, what they did. I mean, we could be thanking them in the next week. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> no, probably not. But <laughs> we could I'll, be. I'll, I'll be thanking them when they're in a deep dark hole. <laughs> yeah, just blast them into space. Yeah. Send anyway, them on uh, Xbox fanboys. Uh, oh, here we go. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Place yourselves. <laughs> now I'm going to sound like a, a, a PlayStation fanboy, but I mean, I just, I, I hate the way, you know, I mean, I, actually, and also I want to go back onto Sony as well because I, I hate the way Sony's getting it in the neck at the moment about, you know, this whole hacking thing. It's not Sony's fault. No, yeah, it's not, I know. It's actually to blame because the system wasn't particularly secure but I mean there's a lot of rumours floating about that they managed to get hold of a dev kit or uh, I think it was a dev kit or, or it was a customizable, a customised framework update which allowed them to do this you know and I mean it's not really Sony's fault I mean again as I said they, they are kind of partially to blame because the system was a bit flawed but what I, I mean what I hate is the fact that you know Every topic that I've seen so far about about this is always had Sony in the title, and everyone is yeah. you know, saying it's so Sony. Sony, Sony, Sony yeah. Is, and it's, w- w- what about the bastards that did this? If the thing that annoys me most is like they're already trying to file lawsuits against them, and you know they haven't even sorted the problem yet, and it's just like. I can understand that you know the the credit card worry and all that, and the lawsuit coming out, but the fact that you need to aim it so highly at Sony, it's like. If anything, you should be trying to sue the guys that flipping did it, not not Sony. I can understand because Sony's the console obviously wasn't as secure as it could have been, and it has been and it is the most secure console that's been around. You know, it took them three like three years or something to actually get into it. Yeah, it's, and it's now they've managed well to st- stand the test of time. But exactly. I mean, yeah, I I have to say I think it was an inside job. I mean, for the first well, yeah. I mean, for this, I mean, this is. This is not a minor thing. They destroyed no. the whole system. This had to have been an inside job. 
or, or at least they had to have gotten some access to something major for them yeah. to do. This. Yeah, it's obviously going to be something. Yeah, you know, for something. You know, the PlayStation Network's not. It's not a small thing. You know, it's going to take some getting into. Oh yeah. It's just. It just seems like I know. I know where you're coming from. It just seems a little too fishy that it's just happened just out of the blue. You know. Unless they've yeah. been at it for a heck of a long time, in which case, get a life. But yeah. it just seems like, yeah, I can understand that something is a little bit strange. Maybe there has been some inside uh, workings in it, but... Oh, you never know, Microsoft might help now. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't surprise Nintendo, me. you never know. Uh, ever wonder why Bill Gates no longer works for Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> Play near home. <laughs> time destroying uh, PSN. I will know. break you eventually. <laughs> As I said, back to these Xbox fanboys, you need to shut the fuck up. Because, I'm sorry, but, you know, I know this is a major blow to PSN, and I know it's, you know, the major thing that's happened, but it's not like Microsoft's record is spotless with no. the Xbox 360. It's definitely they one of those yeah, arguments. said failure rate. I can guarantee no one on this planet has the original Xbox that they bought because they probably had to get rid of it eventually because it's bust. Or they've had to change something inside of it to make it work. Yeah, they've had to, you know, change something, you know. And, and, you know, I just... And the fact that you have to... I mean, I know it's not really a big deal now because they've launched this new Xbox, but, you know, two years ago when you bought the Xbox 360, you had to buy every single thing separately. Yeah, I I was very surprised I didn't even have a wireless card in there. You know, and... I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, as... As a gamer, I love some of the games on the Xbox. There's some cracking games. I mean, Gears has been phenomenally good, you know, and... As much as it pains me to say it, I do kind of like, well, the new Halos, not like Halo 3 or ODST, they were shit. Yeah. But um, multiplayer-wise, they were good, but story-wise, they're bollocks. But, um, you know, they've got some phenomenal games, but... Yeah, they do, yeah. It's just that I'm, I'm just coming from, you know, a hardware point of view, you know, like, you know, as a console, as a machine, the Xbox 360 sucks my hairy balls. <laughs> Just crap. Not a nice image. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, at least you haven't seen what I look like, you know. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, I mean, my PS3, you know, I've, I've had it since it's come out. You know, it's an original forty gig, and I've hadn't had a single problem with it yet. Such wood. Yeah, well, I mean, um, I've only just literally within the past four or five months have just replaced my original. I mean, I had a, I had a day one sixty gigabyte. Uh, PS3 and I've still got it you know I haven't I'm not chugging that damn thing out it's going to be worth something but you know I was considering replacing it anyway it was getting a little bit old it was getting a bit loud it was getting a bit yeah, glitchy I mean, I'm here and there the dating mind, cause, I mean it's, it's not because it's getting old or anything because I mean it's still functioning rather well it's yeah. just that that 40 gig hard drive is puny and I really yeah when you think one. about it yeah especially when you've had it a long time you have to really have you have to manage that space don't you you can't just download and leave it Whereas well, now I mean, I've got it now. I mean, you can get one. You can get like a three hundred and fifty, a three hundred and twenty gig now. For yeah, like I've, quid. I've got three hundred and twenty. I mean, yeah. The only thing that? I don't like about the new PS3 is the look. I, I, I despise the look of them. I found the, the original one, the PS3. It just looked so classy, you know, really shiny. Yeah. I know it was like a, a fingerprint oh. magnet and a scratch <laughs> magnet, but it <laughs> yeah, was just like a and a dust magnet at that as well. But. <laughs> It just looked so good. It, that shine, it was just amazing. And now you look at it and it's like this this matte look. It looks like they've just, you know, it's like a second-hand flipping knockoff yeah. with this stupid little crappy logo. And it's like, bring back the Spider-Man logo and we'll be fine. You know, bring that back. Yeah. Or be thankful it, it, it's not the same design as the original Xbox. you remember that? Christ, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You, you can register it as a lethal weapon. I mean, well, The actual Xbox Xbox, not 360. Yeah, the actual Xbox. You the know, thing you could chuck out of a weigh, window. It weighed four and a half tons. <laughs> if you dropped it out the window, it would create a crater. It'd still work afterwards. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but it was just it was insane. I mean... I mean, I do, I, I do, I do, I mean, the original PS3, I mean, I still, I've got it here now, and I'm looking at it, and it's, just, it's, it is gorgeous, I mean, Thing it does look good. You have I mean, to, to be compliment fair, though, it. I do like the design of the Xbox, and I, I have to say, I yeah. do really like the Xbox Slim, that looks good. Yeah, really it does. Nice that I agree with you there, yeah. The thing that I find with, with the original, um, the PS3, I don't know if you've got one, but did you buy the, uh, the stand which you can get for them? 
No. Ah, well, it had this little dock thing, and it, and it, it really complimented it, because it came with these blue neon you lights. You seriously think I'm going to buy the stand when I spent 400 quid for it anyway, I mean... Oh, well, I suppose, but I mean, <laughs> I... <laughs> when, oh, <laughs> sodding hell, the frickin' phone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my phone that rings, not yours. Go away, be quiet. But oh, um, let's look it off. So pick up the damn phone then. Shh. I'm gonna hang up in a minute if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> quiet. Oh, there we go. Finally. But anyway. But yeah, this this stand and it had this blue neon glow to it. You can get one for the new one as well. But it just looks so so good. And the new one, it to me, it was a step back in the looks. Yeah. Really was that matte sort of. That sort of texture, you know, it was like the old PlayStation 2, that sort of ste- that sort of texture. But you can get skins for it, you know, and you can get these things you can stick on it and, and all that, and they look cool. But yeah, to me, I didn't like the the new the new look. But oh well, who cares, you know? I've, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter really. I think I think we have slightly veered off what we were originally. We have completely about gone off. Then. We've completely <laughs> gone off. <laughs> we knew this would bloody happen, but we've completely we've completely wandered off. I have to, I have to say though, back on to the Xbox thing though. I mean, I know. I mean, I I do. As like I said, I do like. I really love some of the games on it. But why did they release the 360? Because it it was just a mess. I it mean, was. Some, yeah, they did I it. Mean, the the, the 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 disc drive was a joke. I mean, if you ever if you you know put it down flat and you walked in your room, it, it, it would the, the disc drive would literally <laughs> bounce and just carve a nice <laughs> circle onto your disc and ruin your games. You know, I mean, it it, it was a bit ridiculous. Yeah, they I did mean, it to get it out before the PS3. Really, that was what they did. Yeah, I don't think they wanted to have PS3 one of these. Still didn't come out for another what year and a half. No, that did. Yeah, it took a long time. Yeah, they did not need to bring out. I mean, I, I think if they just waited a, a couple more months and just ironed out a few of those issues, I think you know it would. I mean, it, I mean, it would be an absolutely amazing console like PS3. I mean, well, PS3's had no problems really. I mean, no. I know. The, I mean, the failure rate uh, there has been a failure rate, but it's nowhere. Well, fucking, you can't even. You know, the failure rate on the PS3 is so tiny you can't even see it. But <laughs> at least, well, with the 360, it's a big, huge, fucking, walking mountain. But yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, to be fair, I mean. At least, you know, with I mean, with this problem that the Sony have had with their PSN, at least they've still got money, unlike Microsoft, because you know, the amount of money they had to shell out with the uh, yeah, repair. I mean, Jesus, and yeah. And I think everyone um, I knew I, who had one had to yeah, I, do I've something been with free, it. Unfortunately, even if it was just a, a open quotes the penny fix, as they called it. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a bloody machine breaks and you can fix it with a freaking penny? <laughs> just put the, put the put the penny in it in the first place, and we wouldn't have these problems. Well, I mean, I mean, my first one blew out. I mean, uh, my, my first one just died, and then um, the, the second one I had, I, I don't know, something imploded inside of it, and and the third one I had I actually sold eventually because I mean there was nothing really else that was out for it. Unfortunately, that's another thing that I feel sorry for. You know, Xbox fans is there's not a lot coming out for them this year. I mean, Exclusive unfortunately, wise. Connect is taking a lot of you know a lot of uh, attention. You yeah, know, and, yeah. I mean, I really do not want to prance about in front of my TV and, and a camera, you know. I mean, uh, <laughs> who does, really? I mean, that's the, the was thing. Not. I find with stuff like that, when you've got... You know, this counts for the PlayStation Move as well, it counts for the Wii, it counts for the, the Kinect. The problem is with them, they're not really a solo gamer sort of thing. <laughs> they're good for, like, the first week and then they just kind of get old and it's like it's been done yeah. now I mean the Wii did it freaking ages ago and now you're only just bringing out you know the, I mean the PlayStation's only just brought out their move and it's like you could have done this ages ago it's a freaking stick with a light on the end and now the mm. and now the Xbox has got their Kinect and it just seems it's more of a party thing yeah and me personally I, I don't really game in parties sometimes that kind of sounded strange. That kind of sounded like I don't really gay in parties, but I don't really game with <laughs> groups of people. Sometimes I do. If I've got friends over and we want to hop on and play, you know, some, as much as I hate to say it, some Black Ops or something yeah. like that, just against bots or or whatever, or just want to play some, some co-op or some sort, we will. But I don't, you know, I don't invite, like, 20 people around. Let's have an Xbox sesh. And I don't, don't prance around in front of the TV looking like a complete <laughs> tit. Like Michael Jackson experience. Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like those ridiculous dancing things. Who the hell is buying those, really? 
How on well, earth? To be fair, at least at least Sony's making the effort because they are making some of their hardcore titles like Killzone and yeah. Superstorm and whatnot. They're actually you know implementing moves yeah. into that. You know, so it kind of gives you a reason just to check it out and see what it's like. Yeah, that's but, yeah, that's that's what I found. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, like you say, Killzone Three's got it. You've got the, you've got um, a Heavy Rain Move Edition now. Um, which is actually quite good. I've got it, and I've found... I haven't actually played it with the controller yet, and I find with the move, because it's like playing a film, it's like, you, you do so much more on it, it's just so much more interesting. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, walking over here, Oh, look at that, Oh, my arm got cut, Oh, patch me up, and just stuff like crap like this, and it's just, it's so much more interesting with the move, definitely. We didn't even, yeah. we weren't even planning on talking about this, where has this come from? Yeah, we were. Well, I blame we, you, yeah. this is your fault. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we'll, well, we'll 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 kind of you know veer back. You know, we'll do a U-turn and veer back to what we originally were saying. Um, the Xbox is shit, but no, I, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get it in the neck. I know I am. But, yeah, um, you will. <laughs> uh, straight for the jugular, but um, it's just that I mean the whole PSN thing. I mean, luckily it's going to be back up. I mean, that's the main thing. I mean, once yeah. it's back up, everyone will rejoice and get back on. <laughs> playing and you know playing the DLC and whatnot and I do suggest looking at some of the YouTube videos because there's some great ones there it just makes I mean, me wonder what, what um what they're going to do if if it's just a case of here you are it's back on or if it's like here you are we're really sorry have this or yeah or if, if it's going to oh, be oh, anything I, I mean I will lose a bit of faith if Sony don't do something I mean if yeah they, I mean, I'd be surprised something I mean I mean, I don't know some credit, or you know, or, or you know, or some or access to PSN Plus. I was going to say, if they give everyone like a month of PSN or heaven, or whatever, however you pay for, I've no idea. If they give everyone like a that yeah, for so month, long, month of PSN Plus. Because I mean, if, with the month's PS10 Plus anyway, you get access to free games and shit anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it would be I a mean, nice touch. Yeah, I mean, it would. You know, it, we would. You know. Oil ourselves up for Sony again, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. Oil ourselves and roll around <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that PS3s, you know. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully this will be behind Sony, you know, in the next couple of you know years. Uh, with Maybe anonymous or whoever did it will lay off them a little bit. You know, you've caused your trouble. You've had your fun. Now piss off and go home. We don't want to know you anymore. Just. Yeah, let's go this is bear back to the dark deep hole that you know you came from, from whence you came and be gone I banished you know, thee yeah but I mean I, I mean on the bright side we've got a lot of uh, on a happier note we've got a lot of games to talk about that are coming god. out and my god have we got a lot of games that's going to be coming out this yeah. May is going to be mental I mean we're near the end of April now what we've got two days left it's the 28th. When does April end? The 30th. There we go. We've got two days of April left. And as soon as May kicks in, everything just goes insane. It's just going to be absolutely madness. I mean, just here, I've got... Th- one, two... When does Battlefield? Battlefield's not out. Is Duke Nukem out? Duke Nukem's out next in May, isn't it? Yeah, I think, it, I think it got delayed and it's coming out in, like, I think it's, like, the 3rd or the 7th or something it comes out. See, we've got... I mean, we've got... We've got Brink coming out. We've got L.A. Noir coming out, which I know you're practically raping at the moment yes we've got Duke Nukem which I know you're probably going to rape as well um, no, Duke, Duke will rape me sorry yes <laughs> Duke will be raping everybody um, he's like the Chuck Norris of the gaming world I suppose isn't he but well there's been a lot of that you know who would win Duke Nukem or Chuck Norris and it's like well he, no one because <laughs> loads, you know? they would just cancel each other out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like an immovable object hitting an unstoppable force it's just like, yeah, just like- Okay. It, nothing happens. It's just you look at it and it's like, what's going on? I can't. You know, nothing's happening. But really, it's just going. You know, you, it's just that mad. You can't actually see it. Anyway. They just, they just, they just fuse into this weird juke, <laughs> juke chuck combination. Juke Norris. <laughs> yeah, just become this ultimate. You know, which basically consists of a very, very muscular version of um, of Chuck Norris with sunglasses on. Yeah. That's Duke Norris. Yeah. And a couple of babes around him, of course. Not and much. his catchy catchphrases. But um. What else have we got coming out? We've got obviously Fable Three is finally coming out for the PC. I'm looking forward to that. I really enjoyed Fable One. Yeah, I didn't I did. get Fable Two simply because it's on X. It was an Xbox uh, 360 only, and I, I did, wasn't going to buy it. I did play Fable Two. Uh, that but it was, was any pretty, good? Pretty uh, shit, to be fair. Was, um, it, was it pretty shit? <laughs> well, the story the story is about you know four and a half minutes long. And, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> 
It's just it's because I think it's because they cram so much in there because you know you got all the properties you can buy houses and shit yeah, you got yeah. all, all the jobs that you can do you know and whatnot and then it's tr- it was focused to be really realistic and then the story the story you know was kind of an afterthought kind yeah, of thing yeah yeah you know? that's what it kind of feels like you I know mean, I've heard that the Fable Three is very good um, and yeah, I'm hoping it, it is because it's taken them like nearly what something like when did it come out it came out last year it's taken I think it did anyway it's taken them nearly about six odd months to get this sorted for the PC so I'm certainly hoping they throw in some extra bits and bobs with it I hope it's not just the game you know because there's been I'm pretty sure there's been plenty of downloadable content for it yeah there has been you know there's, it, there's this like episode like content for it yeah I, imagine, you, I mean I imagine you'll get the first one for free I mean that's what they did on, on the Xbox you know yeah I mean, I mean I've um, I pre-ordered it off Steam or pre-purchased sorry off of Steam um, and you know you get some free weapons and some free tattoos and whatever do not get me started on freaking pre-purchasing on Steam oh, as much as I like don't Steam don't get me started on fucking it's uh, content Jesus. you know bonus <laughs> content in period, period I mean it's ridiculous I mean, I, I just, I just hate the way the gaming industry takes Europe, bends it over, and gives it one till its eyes water. Because <laughs> it's just, it's constantly screwing us. It is, yeah. In industry, because you know, the, the America gets all these really cool collector's editions, and it all and comes it out gets stupid figurine, and that's about it. And for whatever reason, it comes out two days earlier over in America. I don't know why. I honestly have no I, it, idea. I, it's because games... I think it's because the way the games are delivered, because it's always a Monday or a Friday that games will come out here. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they actually do come out in the week. I mean, there has been a few cases where games have come out in the week here, you know. I mean, yeah. Warcraft, for example. And yeah. Starcraft, they came out in, you know... Brilliant. There's your phone. Woo! Yeah, back in a minute. <laughs> don't go. God damn it, I have to talk on my own now. Oh, Christ. But, yeah, um... So like you were saying, we do get completely, completely and utterly bullshitted when it comes to uh, to stuff like downloadable content. It just seems like downloadable content, and like you were saying, special editions and whatever. You know, we get we get the occasional one, or we'll get a few like one shop in the whole of like a whole town, or have this one thing, and everyone's there like, I want it. I'll give you 150 pounds at my my finger for it, and all this stuff, and it's just. It just seems extremely annoying. There's always that one extra little better thing you could be getting in America, and I think it's just to get people to buy it, to be honest. Whether or not it actually gets shipped here, and we have to wait for it, or or not. I mean, some games, like so, some games do come out at the same time as as uh, as America. I don't know. Brink's not doing it, um, but it has had its uh, its its date put put backwards. Sorry, put forwards. Backwards, what? I think, because it was going to come out on the twentieth, but it's now on the twenty-third, uh, not the twenty-third, thirteenth, which is a good thing. But I don't know if it's coming out. I think America still get it on the tenth. Yeah, I think they do. Which is a bit of a pain. But my God, I cannot wait for that game. I don't <laughs> know if you're going to get Brink, but I pre-purchased Brink. Well, like, to me, I pre-ordered it. Cause I pre-ordered well, this thing like back four in four years ago, <laughs> back in August <laughs> two thousand and ten, without realizing. Without paying attention, think, oh, I'll pre-order that, yeah, blah, 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 bang, done. And then I suddenly realised, oh crap, I'm overdraft. Why am I overdraft? Because Steam made me pay for it the second I put, I clicked that button. There, twenty nine ninety nine gone. And, you know, I bought this thing back in August, so now it's coming out, what is this, like seven or eight months later, I've actually get to play the damn game. So, two weeks to go, finally, and I'll be playing it. So... You know, expect yeah, looks, my channel to be looks, full of it. Looks very interesting. I mean, the customization quite a lot. That's a good point, actually. There was I was reading a, uh, a, a thing on it. I can't remember the exact number, but the, the customization is that vast. I mean, they're kind of taking. You know, do you remember when um, was it? Was it what was it? Was it drift? Was that racing game? Was it drift? Drift. The one uh, which had insane customization on the cars, I can't remember what it was, but it turned out to be utterly shit. I think it was something like Drift, I don't know, you, someone, will, someone will put it in the, uh, in the comments, but... Yeah, probably. It was something like that. But apparently, Brink's customization is so vast, it's got something like 20 trillion different, uh, different things you can be doing. 20 trillion? Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, That's mad. Sorry. 
I, I, I know, but I, I highly doubt it. I know the majority of it is going to be stuff like colours, you know, changing yeah. a colour or changing this slightly. But the fact that there is that many, it just seems madness. It really does. Utter madness. Thank you. Oh, okay. But, um... <laughs> Okay. But sorry, Mum's just brought me a a a, a note. <laughs> sorry, but but um, but no, it's just I just think it looks really good. I mean, any shooter to me which is team based, I will buy. You know, simple as. I mean, I bought Battlefield Two. That was absolutely fantastic. Have you got Battlefield Two? No. I'm no, he doesn't have Battlefield Two. Uh, Fucking useless. Yeah. Sorry, excuse my French, but um. Well, I've got Call of Duty, unfortunately. Well, yeah, but Call of Duty isn't team-based, really. You can happily yeah, dominate yeah. the map by well, yourself. No, I mean, in all fairness, I know you know Call of Duty is more about you know running around with the arms flailing in the air, but kill death. Right, I mean, the, the, the older ones were a lot more team-based. I mean, yeah, yeah, Call of Duty two and whatnot. I mean, which I still play. I mean, that that's still really good team-based game. But I mean, the the, the newer ones, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're just ridiculous. Don't yeah. get me wrong, it's fun, but you know. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I, I buy them, but I I don't play them for as long as some people do. You know, I've probably I think I've Black Ops. I think I've prestige once and got to like level twenty or twenty seven or something like that, and I just I just stopped playing for no reason. I just stopped playing it. I think I just got bored, and I was fed up with the same crap over and over and over and over again. Plus, all the damn patches they're constantly bringing out, changing everything. So essentially, you're now playing Modern Warfare two again. Yeah. You know that annoyed me to hell. Without the hackers, though. Without the hackers, of course, yeah. There are considerably less hackers, yes, I have to admit. I don't think I've actually come across one yet. Or maybe yes. one. Yet, yes, I have to admit, yet. But like I say, everybody knows if you watch my channel, I'm a big TF2 fan, which is obviously a very team-based game. Brink is going to be an extremely team-based game. You get rewarded for it. The only way you can actually win the game is just to work as a team. But, no doubt, I will blabber on about that. I don't want to bore you with that. I will blabber on about that when that comes out. I will be all over that game when it does come out, so... Blow your load all over it. I will literally, yeah. I will literally do that. Like, <laughs> numerous times. One after the other. It's just going to be insane back here. You don't want to come round when that game comes out, I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> to a game that I'm looking forward to. Yes, go ahead. Alain Noir, yes. That's, uh... I, d I just... I mean, the thing that I think the reason why it appeals to me is because it just looks so different. You yeah, know I mean? yeah, definitely. It's a good. I mean, it's I, a know good it, I know it's like open world and shit, but you know, I mean, it just oh, I mean, the cases and whatnot, you know, and it just looks so, you know, I think it will really test your your thinking, you know, and and the technology behind it again, Rockstar just blowing it out of the water like they normally do. Well, to be honest, you, you can guarantee whenever Rockstar bring our game, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's always going to be good. I mean, yeah, sometimes. I mean, you know, GTA Four, it was good. You know, a bit of a blip, I but mean, it was it, a bit. It, it wasn't as good as it could have been. While to sink in and yeah, it just it had to it had to you know uh, percolate for a bit, you know, and yeah, yeah, and then eventually you know it won a lot of people over, and of course with the DLC that come on, come down with it as well, that was pretty good. And I mean, I just I just cannot wait for the uh, for for Alan Noir because it just I mean it, it's just so it looks really different, and it, I mean, I, I like the cases. I like the the way that you can you, know, you go through the ranks and you get like intuition yeah. points, and you can. Uh, but I, uh, the technology though is just what gets me. I mean, how realistic it looks, the faces and the animation. You know, it just. I mean, you have the way you have to actually read the people to try and gauge whether they're telling the truth or lying. You know, and it's just. Oh, I mean, I, I can't wait to put you know I mean, the rest of my life into that game. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good looking forward to it. I really like the games which have that sort of um, that old-fashioned look to it. You know, yeah, like, I'm surprisingly drawn to them as well. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, I picked up Mafia um, for that five pound thing, and I love it. I think it's really good. I love all the old-fashioned cars, all the old-fashioned big band music, you know, and all this stuff. And now you've got Alain Noir coming out, which is is essentially like the other side of Mafia. Yeah. You know, because much. mafia, you're the you're the criminal, isn't you? Whereas this time you're playing as the cops. It's almost like a, cr a it's like a cross between numerous different games, but all really good. You know, all coming in. You've got you've got elements from Heavy Rain. You've got elements from, from well, I suppose kind of elements from Mafia. You've got elements from GTA. You've got this. Just it's, to be honest, it does look very good. And I'm very intrigued. And I may buy it. Thankfully, yeah, I'm getting I, paid. I, I think. Soon. I think. I, I mean, I would like to see a demo. Really. Yes. Yes. Just, just, just to kind of yeah. you know cement it a bit more for me, you know. Yeah. I, I, I doubt there will be one because I mean, let's face it, Rockstar really don't release demos. But, no, that's um, true. 
And I mean, RPGs they're kind of difficult to to release demos for, especially yeah. free roaming ones. You could say it's an RPG, I suppose. It's, it's more well, of a crime thriller, but yeah, you know what I mean. Though. You're playing a character, um, in you? So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I mean, it it, it looks phenomenal. Uh, I mean, it, it, I think I think if I bought it, I wouldn't be disappointed at all with it. No, I mean, definitely. Well, what, there's there's not there's hardly any Rockstar game I'm disappointed with anyway, in general. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it just looks like it. I mean, <laughs> that rumor floating around about Brink as well, Brink being, you know. Uh, released earlier I think it's a bit of, I think it's balls I think they're releasing it early so they don't compete with Alain Noir because it was, it was set to come out the same month yeah same it, it was set to come out as, as, as that you know, it was set to come out the same day yeah, it, was, it? Oh. it was set for um, May same 20th no 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 it was May 20th I believe and then it's been, but it's been moved back a week and it's coming out in the UK in the, on the 13th and I believe the uh, US on the 10th yeah so you're probably right. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because it is going to be a, both of them are going to be pretty huge games. Mm. And like you say, I, I think I have to say I do feel sorry for The Witcher Two because um, me personally, I think The Witcher Two will be an absolute cool hit. I mean, because I love the first one. The first yeah. one was magnificent. Unfortunately, I've got a shite PC that I won't be able to play the second one, so I won't <laughs> actually be able to experience it. Not but, me. Oh, shut up. Buy yeah. it and bring it here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Buy I will, it. actually. Bring it um, here, we'll have no problems. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, it, it, I think it will be, Witcher 2 will be a phenomenal game, but I just think time period is in a bit of a rock and a hard place, you know, with you know games like Brink and whatnot are really on people's radar, and Allo Noir, of course, you know. Yeah. It's pretty much smack bang in between them, you know, and I don't think it will get what it deserves, really, but... You know, I mean, I, I have no doubt that the, the die-hard Witcher fans will pick it up and, you know, yeah. just, you know, bask in its radiance. You yeah. Because I certainly would, if I could play it. I mean... Which time? I... <laughs> <laughs> like, bring it in. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I bought The Witcher 1 simply because I saw The Witcher 2, the trailer for it, and it just so happened that it was on sale at the time, and I bought it. The problem was I could never get into The Witcher. I mean, I, I need to give the game a second chance, because, I mean, I only played about an hour of it. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it is a bit slow going because you've got to you've got to get your head around a, a lot of the mechanics and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you it will really open up once you get going. I mean, it, it's such a brilliant game, and I mean, I was lucky because I, I unfortunately I, I don't have a job at the moment, you know. So yeah, w- why I'm doing this uh, because I've got a lot of free time, you know. And <laughs> Lucky for nothing else, nothing <laughs> else to do, you know. And not to say I'm a lazy bastard, I am trying to look for a job, you know. You can have my job. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my job. <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, I, I couldn't get it from like Steam or anything, but I managed to get it in the shops, you know, and I got the last, it was the special edition, it was the last one in the store. It was fucking hell, when they got it out, covered in dust and everything. You know, <laughs> back there for about a year. Was it one of those scenes where, you know, all the yeah. dust comes flying off? <laughs> yeah, it flying off into my face. It's like, like <laughs> opening an ancient tome of sort of, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I got that special edition, and I mean, the special edition's really cool. I got like the music and the DVD, and I got like a big, huge, massive art book, you know. Yeah. Not like these dinky little flick books, you know, art books. It's like a proper, you know, A, you know, A, A4, you know. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, really, you know, proper art book. It's yeah. really good, and uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, to be fair, I won't lie. It took me a while to get into it. I mean, I, I played through. It, I, I actually installed it and then played it a bit, and then I uninstalled it because I just, you know, I didn't really have the room on my PC because yeah. you know, a seven PC shit and I haven't got a lot of space. And then I just thought, well, oh yeah, I've got The Witcher too. I've got The Witcher, you know. And I thought, well, I've got nothing to play, so I thought, sod it, you know, I'll play it. And I played it for about a week and just poured my time into it. And it, I'm really glad I did because it was really good. It was just phenomenally good fun. It really See, was. That's my problem at the moment. It's the time. The time yeah. I just don't have the time. I've got so many games I want to be playing. You know, I still haven't even finished Damn Crisis Two. I haven't even reinstalled it yet. I got right to the end but never actually finished it. Obviously, I played through Dragon Age Two, which was meh, but we won't go on to that. That can be another one because we'll be here forever. Yeah. Um, you know, I've obviously got Brinks coming out. I've got TF Two to keep on top of with for my channel. I've got um, obviously Fable Three, which I've bought, so I'm going to play it. Um, La Noire, I want to buy. But I don't know whether I'm going to have the time to play it. It's just that's the thing. It's just such a pain. It really is. If I had a new job this second, I, well, I, I'd happily quit the job I'm on now just to do this. But obviously I can't because I'll have no money, and that just doesn't work. And you can't get anywhere with that money these days. Selling <laughs> petrol prices and all that crap. But but yeah, I mean, 
so much to do and so much to cover and so much to play and so much to ugh it's just madness it really is yeah that's what, well, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm craving for a job at the moment because I just I, I just can't afford to get all these games I mean it's mm. just yeah no I, I really wish, I mean again another thing I don't like about the industry why have they got this stupid mentality that they need to release everything in the start the start or the end of the year and not the middle yeah yeah I think that's mainly because obviously the middle is summer and everyone's going to be doing shit so well, what? Yeah, but I mean, surely but no. I know you, you it would make more sense. Well. I mean, yeah, because everyone's off work. So as much as yeah, they might be holidaying, but that's still the free time. I mean, not everyone's going to bugger off to you know happy climates just to you know. I mean, everyone. I mean, me for example. I mean, well, I'm actually poor example, but you know, um, I mean, it's it's just the stupid mentality of it. I mean, I I, I mean. Why release these major games, you know, really close to each other? Why can't they just spread them out? Yeah, a bit yeah. Year? So, you know, I mean, because, I mean, uh, you know, £40 a pop as well. Yeah, definitely. For a game, I yeah. mean, it's a lot of money. That's the main reason why I've, I've more or less, recently, I've gone over to a lot of uh, PC gaming. I used to be a very big PS3 player, but nowadays you can get, you know, and it can look just as good, if not better, on the PC, and it's just like, it's just that, it's that £10 cheaper. Or more, you know, it could be, yeah. you know, as oh. much as I really want to get back into my PS3, and I think LA Noir would do that for me. But like you say, it's just there's that forty pound between it. I mean, there's I mean, I haven't got the problem about affording it. That's fine. That's no problem. I'm not wanting to boast or anything, but you know, I'm getting paid. I get paid at the end of the month, so I'll have, you know, I'll be able to afford it. It's just the time I want to put into it, and and all this stuff with everything else going on. It's just a bit mad, and I really want to get back over to my PS3 I really do I only really use it recently to watch TV and uh, and, and movies and whatever I do play a bit of Death Spank and I love Death Spank to bits but like I say I've done a lot of PC gaming recently I'd practically sit on this in my life unfortunately I'm also a WoW player I've probably lost 300 subscribers now but <laughs> I am also a WoW player, <laughs> so a lot of time goes in that as well, and you know, yeah, it's just, I mean, I've got nothing else to play at the moment other than WoW, you know. Yeah, it's very hard to balance everything. I mean, thankfully I'm on days off, so this is good, I'm enjoying this. And, I mean, today I've practically completely dedicated today to this. I mean, I don't know how long we've been talking now, it's got to be coming on an hour. I just realised how sad and pathetic I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a job, I just sound such a sad bastard. Oh. Are you like the guy off South Park? You know, you know where they did the uh, the the, uh, the World of Warcraft episode, and there's just that man sat back in his chair. Just <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> I don't know because I need. Uh, if someone was standing behind me, then they could tell me. But... <laughs> well, I think oh, we should probably come to a close soon. Though. We've, well. we've talked about pretty much everything. Well, apart from Dragon Age 2. But yeah, I think, honestly... I mean, that was my major beef, you know. I, I mean, think we could save that, I think. Cause yeah. <laughs> we could well, save I that mean, for the next one, I, I think. I, to be fair, though, I, I'd imagine we're probably wasting our breath talking about Dragon Age 2 anyway, because I think everyone has the same problems anyway with it. I mean... Yeah, probably. It's shit, and that's the end of it. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, I mean, to be fair, though, I mean... Overall, I mean, I, I love playing RPGs, and I am really disappointed the the amount of sh shit RPGs that are out there. There's just nothing good. They're rushed out at the moment, aren't they, really? Yeah, I mean, Dragon Age Origins is probably one of the best that I really enjoy playing, you know. I mean, I still can't understand this mentality over, you know, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, it was an experience, I'll, I'll say. I'll, I'll, I'll try and choose my words rather carefully. Um, I mean, I don't particularly like Elder Scrolls because... Well, not Elder Scrolls, but Oblivion, more, I should say. I didn't like Oblivion because it was like... They, they had... What was the point of making that, you know, that lush world, you know? Yeah. When all you did was either fight in a cave or in a house. Yeah, that's very true, you did. Um... You, 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 <laughs> mo most of the main story, you were in a cave or in a house. You just weren't fighting that... You know, it, it didn't have scale. Or it was you were in a Bolivian gate, you know, and you you just... It didn't really have that scale, you know, and... And any time... Any time you were out in the world, you heard the following quote. Stop! You have violated the law! <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, but, I mean, uh, that's kind of what's worries me about Skyrim, you know. I mean, I have no doubt it'll be really good. I mean, I've looked at some of the screenshots. They have really worked over the engine, you know. They've built it's a new engine. It's very pretty, isn't it? And it looks gorgeous, but 
it's Bethesda. I mean, unfortunately, they haven't released a decent game that's... I mean, they've released good games, but they haven't released finished games. Mm. I mean, yeah. look at the state of the Fallout 3 a Game of the Year edition for PS3. It didn't work. <laughs> and New Vegas was a joke. I mean, the amount of bugs and shit that are in that... You know, and I'm, I'm just really worried that they might just rush it out the door and not take the time and care that it needs. A lot of game companies are doing that at the moment, though. They are getting them out the door, yeah, and just getting out there's been happen. problems and problems. I mean, Crisis 2 was a, definitely a, a, an example of this. I mean, that was that was shoddy. That really was. That was, you know, and as much as I love Crytek to bits, I think, you know, they make some fantastic games. I mean, look at Far, Far Cry and... And stuff yeah. like that, all brilliant games, but the fact that they rushed this out so quickly, and it was just dire, it really was. There was, you know, you couldn't even get into multiplayer, you couldn't even log in. Yeah. And if you did get yeah, into I, multiplayer, I mean, you'd I, crash. I, I got the multiplayer demo on my PS3, couldn't get on it. Well, no, that's the strange thing, because I had the multiplayer demo on, on PC, and it was fine. You know, obviously, yeah, there was the hackers and there was a couple of bugs, but it was the beta. That was what, that's what you expected. That's what a beta's for, to get yeah. rid of the bugs. But the fact that it came out and nothing had changed, it was, you know, pirates were getting into the game, or they were getting into multiplayer. That, you shouldn't be able to do that upon release. That should be the first thing they get rid of. And, you and know, single stupid. player was fine, but that the multiplayer was just... Bad on the multiplayer. It was pathetic. It really was. I don't even know if it's fixed yet. I have no idea. As far as I'm aware, they've released two patches and that's it. I haven't well, checked the recently. What's the point of armor mode? What is going on? Well, yeah, because I mean, there's, there's, there's I mean, there was a, a great, uh, a, a great uh, thing that I did. I was, you know, I was just playing, you know, because I'm a P- P- PS3, of course, you know how shit yeah, 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 yeah. I've said. Um, but um, I, I ripped the turret off, went into armor mode, and killed about five, six people. You know, I mean, I just did it because, you know, I mean, you can do it. Why yeah, not? Yeah. And, and uh, I, I did that, and then I eventually died, you know, naturally with armor mode on, and then. I, I put armor mode on again, and then I'm just running, and then all of a sudden this guy jumps out with his pistol and shoots yeah. me twice, bang, and I bang, kill dead. everyone dead. Yeah, that's, I mean... Um, it's like, how? I mean, I, I just survived getting, you know, pummeled by bullets, you know, with this fucking huge chain gun, and then I get, you know, I, I keel over by some twat, you know, blowing on me. I mean... There's you a know, just perfect... It's like, what? What? There's a perfect video, and I can't remember which one it is, my, one of my crisis ones, but we're, we're fighting around, and you know, I get shot numerous times with my armour on, and I don't die, and I kill this guy, and I run off, and I get shot again from behind. I manage to turn around and kill the chap, you know, with my armour on. But then the next time round, you run around a corner, you've got full energy, full health, bang, bang, you're dead. It's like, I can understand if it's headshot-wise, but surely the armour should just cover you overall. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, anyway. it is very hit and miss. It is yeah. very, very hit and miss. It's a, it's a very strange... And that's what you do in that game a lot, actually, hit and miss. Yes, it's a very strange concept. I mean, I I haven't played it in a while, and the reason, obviously, being is, like, I can't see saying, time and other games, and I haven't even installed it since my, my fresh install of the operating system, and I, I don't know if I will, you know... I, I probably will eventually because I want to finish the campaign and I got very far but the fact now I know how to start all over again and you know as much as I like the online it's not that much different from from Call of Duty you know and that's, I think that's why I'm looking forward to Brink because it looks different I like the art style of it I like the gameplay style I like the the look of sorry I like, I like the look of all the team based stuff and I like the look of how you can just jump in the game and you can just switch classes whenever you want you don't have to die you just go up to a terminal like right I want to be a soldier now and there we have it off you go let's go kill some guys plant a bomb run off go be a tank blah 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 it just looks like an easy going game and I'm just looking forward to that and I know you're looking forward to LA Noir and I'm definitely looking forward to your verdict on it if I don't buy on the day I'm coming to you yeah, all right. You are going to be telling me if it's good or not, and <laughs> well, I've pre-ordered it. And everything. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be there. You know, you'll be there and playing. I probably won't hear from you for a week. No, when probably it comes not. Out. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think are you about done. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I've had a good run and rave. No, We've had a good no. run, haven't we? I hope you know. I hope people enjoy listening to it. I mean, it's our first little podcasty type dealy video y thingy majig. Don't know what we're going to call it. Yeah, and I hope it, I hope people enjoy listening to it. And I hope it's just easy listening and it's just up to date stuff. And we don't want to be well, blabbering on too much about the past stuff. But sometimes we as, have to. As well as much as we can up to date. I mean, yeah, 
Yeah, well, the fact that we've been rabbiting on now for about, I don't know, two and a half hours is probably... <laughs> I don't know really that really out of date by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. PSN's probably online by now. <laughs> so that's all fixed. That's gone. That's no problems there. So, yeah, well, like we said, I, mean, I hope... If you guys want to, you know, you know, leave anything, you know, if you, I mean, if you guys... I mean, we we don't know if you'll probably listen to all of this, but if you guys do, then, you know, leave, you know, your comments and, you know, tell us, you know... If we want feedback, want, don't we? Yeah, we want feedback, you know, and if you don't want any questions, you know, and whatnot, you know, ask away and we'll try and... In fact, in fact, for people who we know who have reached the end of the video, we should we should keyword it. We need, we need a word. Um, I don't know. Sausage muncher. Sausage muncher, there we go, there is our keyword. <laughs> if you've reached the end of the video, sausage muncher, your comment if you would like. We at least know that way we've got, you know, we're really thankful that you've made it this far. I know yeah. it's been a heck of a way. We've, you know, it's been like an epic journey, this thing has. It's been, Jesus Christ. But we I'm hope to get these out. Walking How often? through the red rage of <laughs> of you, <laughs> imagine the headsets just you know dangling on their heads, you know. The ears are now burning and yeah. bleeding and all that. So I mean, we hope to get these out. I don't know. Maybe it would be nice to get them out. Like you know, maybe once a week or a couple of times a month would be nice because I mean, I know May is going to be we, the next one won't be out until May, obviously, and that's going to be a big month. So we're going to have plenty to talk about in May. But like I said, leave your feedback, leave your comments, let us know what you think. Uh, if you enjoy listening to us blabber on about a load of rubbish, then great. If you don't, fair enough. You know, we're keep not it gonna, yourself. Yeah, keep it to yourself. We don't want to know about you guys. <laughs> you guys can go home, go away. But um, so yeah, let us know, and yeah, you know, spread it around if you like it. Then feel free to spread it around and and you know. And that sounds so wrong. It does sound so wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. Ignore. Spread I just the love. Spread the we love. Spread the love. But, yeah. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs and kisses all round. <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll, we'll we'll close the uh we'll close it out here. So I've been Che, and I shall see you when I see you. When I see you, when I see you, and this has obviously been. Tom and uh, well, Rage Tom, I should rage. say, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Rage a lot, Tom. So uh, rage a so lot. So rage a lot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, hopefully, if you guys do enjoy this, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I was saying. Now I'm, I'm stumped. And uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, if you guys do enjoy this, then yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do it again, and hopefully, your feedback will be relatively nice. <laughs> um, relatively I positive. Know, yeah, I know I raged a bit at Xbox, you know, but uh, but oh well. It yeah. happens. Someone has to. Somebody has. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Somebody has to. Yeah. There's always one. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> it had to be me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we'll see you when we see you. <sighs> well, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>